Trainers, Drewby here, coaching New York Marauders, bringing you our team builder for week uh, six of the PPL. I don't even know where we're at. I think it is week six, but either way, we're versing the Stunkies, and this matchup is a freaking doozy. Why? Because freaking Great Tusk is freaking arrogant, and I have no great answer for it, because if I'm my opponent and I have Great Tusk, I'm definitely putting play rough on it so I can hit the Slitherwing. So... What does that mean for me? What do I got to do? I mean, that's an absolute doozy. Let's go for the rest of the team before I get into that. But Great Tusk, obviously an absolute disaster I'm about to deal with. Golden Go, Zarud, Azumarill, and the Wayburn, Tinkaton, Quagsire, Jolteon, Espeon. We got the Evolutions, Moltres, and Sneasel, Hisui. Terra Captains being Jolteon and Espeon, the Evolutions. All right. So what we got going on? Well, first and foremost, I like my Brute Bonnet here a lot. We're going to go Terra Grass, Brute Bonnet. So we're not weak to Bug, Fighting, or Fairy on this bad boy. And we resist Ground Attacks. Um, we don't resist Ice Spinner, but like... The thing is, what I'm going to do in this game, turn 1, I am leading Brute Bonnet. And I am going Terra Grass right away. Now... Leaning Brute Bonnet makes him, if I'm my opponent, it's not exactly factual, but if I'm my opponent, I see my opponent lead Brute Bonnet turn one, I'm kind of scared of a spore. Um, also, if my opponent looks at my team, I see it, I probably just lead Great Tusk and either go EQ or Ice Spinner to cover the Honchcrow or EQ to literally cover the entire rest of the team. So, at least with Brute Bonnet, when I Terrastalize here, I am Grass type. And then I can I can live an ice spinner. It's not gonna go well. And then I can return the fire with Giga Drain. Giga Drain will do a big chunk. It could even possibly kill, depending on your spread and where your HP is currently at. But my main goal is basically make this thing terrestrialize right away. Hope the Great Tusk isn't choice banded, and then get a Giga Drain off whatever it does to me. And then suck a punch to finish it off, or maybe just Giga Drain straight up kills it. Now, my EVs. I am max HP. I am 128 defense and 128, uh, I want to say attack over here. Forgot exactly what I, what I put in. I'm pretty sure it's attack. Um, but either way, the point of this mod is basically in the sun, I get plus one defense. So I can keep pace with the Great Tusk in case it goes Adam and it gets a plus one. Or even if it goes Jolly, it gets plus one attack. My goal is to keep pace with the Tusk, hopefully be at full HP, and just get a Giga Drain off and either kill it or put it in range where I could die to like pretty much any other mon i have because i do not have a great gr i don't have a great great tusk answer see what i did there kind of thing it's, it's a pain in the neck to deal with that um obviously we have palm puff for the zarud and even the espion there if needed uh sucker punch is obviously going to cover espion as well stopping tantrum is here for the tinkatung switching i could have gone terrifier and terror blast but like if i go with terrifier i just died of like so many more things yeah is just ice and whatnot but the ground attacks hit me the quagsire hits me um uh, what else hits me when I'm a fire type here? I lose my uh, psychic immunity, which may come in handy. But like I said, I'm gonna probably I'm probably gonna go this turn one into Rastalize. But we'll see what goes down. I don't think you lead Great Tusk, but um, I don't know. This is basically my Great Tusk answer over there. Then we have our beautiful Slitherwing over here. Slitherwing is a doozy this week. Um, I like this mod a lot. Like I said, if my opponent, uh, I I go play rough EQ rapid spin and like ice spinner on great tusk this week so again the player up does over half to me no matter what happens i am max hp i am max attack i am adamant why am i doing it this way basically i didn't really have a good switch for jolteon or um the espion for the most part and your goal here is basically to be a wall i can either first impression get rid of the espion i can eq with the tinkaton and anything else weak to ground like the golden go i can also shoot the golden go and eq that i have a slow u-turn in case i want to get a get a advantage of my situation there kind of u-turn out and then i have the advantage of bringing the mon that i want to bring in while you are stuck with the mon that i u-turned against unless you're really slow and then i have a low sweep as my fighting attack here why do i have low sweep well I think this mod is going to force a lot of mons out, and then it's still a stab fighting, obviously, and I just get to lower the speed. And lower the speed, especially if Great Tusk has a plus one speed, it brings in the switches in the Great Tusk or something, or like if I catch like maybe the Noivern on a switch, and I can just low sweep, lower the speed, and getting those mons like Noivern, even the Jolteon and the Espeon to neg one speed could be really, really, really crucial, and allow my mons to outspeed it that might no not normally outspeed it, such as the Honchkor we have, we're going to go over that in a bit. Um, first impression, just big damage 
Uh, obviously, we killed the root as well, but you might not even bring the root this week. But in case you do, it's like a spore blocker and something like try to wall my uh, Bonnet here. We do have um, clear. We like I said, we have the pollen pop, and then we, which is also like decent move in general. And then we have obviously first impression here as well. First impression, just getting some big damage off can be nice as well. Finish things off. I don't know what's gonna happen in the game, obviously, so it could pick off some mons. I have EQ and low sweep, like I was saying in general. To uh, just have some good coverage there and an EQ for the mons that resist the bug attacks and whatnot. So, not really great against Great Tusk, but like I said, I can't do anything against Great Tusk to begin with because he's gonna go play rough. And then, I mean, I don't know ease, but if I'm if I'm my opponent, I'm bringing play rough because Silver Wing is like my only answer for a big ground attack on my team. So, that's what I expect. Then we have Hunch Crow. Hunch Crow is gonna be cleanup crew. Um, oh, you're Terra. You should be. I think you're supposed to be Terra flying actually. Did I mess it up? No, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. as Terra Dark. No, you're, ter you're Terra Dark. We Terrasa us. Go Dark type. Uh, we lose the ground immunity. But um, we get bigger Sucker Punches, bigger Knights, such as Affinity. We're also Choice Scarf. And we have to be max speed Jolly because freaking Jolteon outspeeds Adam and Scarf. So we got to do um, Hunch Crow as a... Uh, I mean, probably not going to terrasse us on Hans Crow, but in case we do, maybe we can just finagle a bit with, the, with our with our bottom, but we'll see. Either way, you are a cleanup crew. We got to get as much damage as possible on a lot of mons. Yes, like Jolteon versus Brave Bird, but honestly, the damage is still pretty massive, even though he resists it, because Jolteon's pretty frail. Uh, only problem was like Quagsire can be unaware, obviously, but I don't even know if you bring the Quagsire this week. We'll see what happens there. You might, though, because AB Quagsire seems kind of decent, but if you go AB Quagsire, you don't get rocked, you don't get recovered, so I don't know. We'll see what happens there, but our goal is obviously just chip things down and then Brave Bird, what we got to do. Obviously, Brave Bird does a lot of great tusks, so we have a good answer there. Um... Same with the Zeru, this thing can jack up Golden Go. But the thing is, like, I, I would love to switch my attacks up, but I can't because I'm Scarfed, and I, and I need the Scarf this week. So, Hans Crow is a great mod, and we're going to just hope we, hopefully we can just keep it in the back for as long as possible and then get a late game sweep going with it. So, that is the beautiful Hans Crow, my friends. Uh, usual walk and wake. Nothing crazy here. However, you are going to be AV just to help with the Jolteon switch ins here and even help uh, out with like the Espeon damage, maybe even Moltres damage. But I don't really have a good switch in for Jolteon on this team, so that's why I have the Walk and Wake here. AV, I might as well just resist water at that. I mean, logic at that point with the AV end up being neutral. So we just go into this bad boy, hopefully have Sun up, and then Hydro Steam, Dragon Pulse, Draco Meteor, Flamethrower. Just nothing crazy there. Next week, though, our battle for next week, we will we'll get a little spicy with the Walk and Wake, you'll see. Then we're going a little risky here. We're going Choice Banded Cinderace. Why Choice Band? Well, honestly, the DPS output from this mod is insane this week. Could put in a lot of work. We outspeed the Tusk before, like, any Sun boost in him. Or before any Scarf. Or, I mean, before, yeah, before Scarf or anything like that. We are indeed Jolly. We are not adamant because we need to be Jolly Nature to outspeed, um... What do I doubt? I think it was. What do I got? What do I? What was it? Why am I jolly this week? I forgot why. Oh, because the yes beyond. That's why I'm jolly. I couldn't really outspeed it, so I want to make sure I outspeed that man. I don't have to because I have a sucker punch. But again, in case he does have sub, uh, we can just go powerball. There's massive damage trouble. So the quag sire sucker punch, we just picks and getting rid of the s bond in case it. I don't know outspeeds even the noivern. Noivern outspeeds me, so I can sucker punch that bad boy. And then we U turn out on things we got to U turn out on. Um. Pretty sure AV Azumarill is coming in because AV Azumarill really walls the heck out of you here. Um, I don't know if uh, you probably go Sap Sipper also. Uh, AV Azumarill is incredible against me this week and he's going to be an issue for sure. So getting through that mod is going to be a doozy, which is why we have like. Uh, what do we have, man? We just. It's, it's, it's going to come down to the Honchkrow, honestly, to get rid of that thing. We don't have a great answer for the Azumarill this week. Um, it's going to be Honchkrow taking it out and chipping it away with Pyro Balls because he's going to be freaking Sap Sipper. So we can't do anything about that. I'm um, going to try to damage it a bit with Dragon Pulses, maybe. Get the sun up. I don't know how it's going to go down, but um, that's pretty much what we got going on with our uh, Walking Wake and Cinderace this week. We could go Gunk Shot. Maybe I will take off Trailblazer and just go Gunk Shot because, like, I'm not really scared of the Quagsire. I'm more scared of the Azumarill. So I probably will drop the uh, Trailblaze for Gunk Shot. Um, and then, last but not least, we do have Torkoal here. And Torkoal is a decent actually against the uh, Zoomarrow. We have Sludge Bomb for it, Flamethrower, Willow, Stealth Rock with the Sun Off. The Water Attacks ain't going to do much. Um, we are especially bulky here to help with the Jolteon and the Espeon. Um, but yeah, we could bring, like, you're not great against the Azumarill, but like, we could try to Willow something. Like, maybe you bring in the Great Tusk. 
get a willow up on it. Maybe we could willow the Zarud or like Tinkaton kind of switching because Tinkaton, well, the Tinkaton wouldn't be that good. Even the Quacks, I don't know. We're just going for it there. We have Stealth Rock as well. Um, and that is our team this week. I think I will take off Cinderace's Trailblaze and put on the Poison Attack there just to make sure I have a backup answer for the freaking um, Azumarill there in case like Torkoal's not enough, which probably won't be, but um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, and then we'll, and then the actual battle will be... Uh, Watch, watch me not having trouble just bite me in the butt. We'll see, though. Getting the speed boost could be really nice also. But overall, that's what we got. If he doesn't bring Sapsip or Azumarill, he's honestly a fool. So I'm assuming the Sapsip uh, Azumarill will be coming without a doubt. And like an AB as well. Just to completely wall so many things on this team right now. So that's what, that's what we're going to do here, friends. Thanks for watching. As always, we'll see you in the battle. Stay healthy. Stay beautiful. Stay sexy. And I'll see you soon.